right, guys, I'll call this meeting to order. If you would join with me, uh, pledge the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, if you could bow with me for a moment of silent prayer. Thank you all for coming today. Welcome to the Bedford City Commission meeting. Uh, while we uh, are looking, before we look at the minutes and uh, the financial statements, I would like to take a minute to introduce Steve Emery. He is running for family court judge that covers Oldham, Trimble, and Henry County. Uh, Steve, welcome. The floor Thank is yours. You. Thank you. I just have a short introduction. Uh, hello, my name is Steve Emery, and I'm running for family court judge. Hopefully, most of you will never be in family court. Your vote for family court is important. Having been an attorney, a family mediator, and guardian ad litem for the local family courts, I can tell you firsthand what happens to our community's children also directly affects you. I strive to be fair. I have integrity. I work very hard to know the law and to understand how it affects families. I listen carefully to people to understand their goals. I also have the courage to explain when the law cannot help someone to do what they want to do. I have the compassion to respect their dignity and feelings. My upbringing taught me to always do my best, no matter the task. Prior to practicing law, I was a railroad signalman, a small business owner, and I managed a large sales team for a major retail department store. I do my best when I'm elected. I am divorced, but I'm engaged to a beautiful woman, Anne Action. I have two amazing adult sons, Jesse and Cole. I have shoveled my sons between two homes on Christmas, Thanksgiving, and birthdays, and this has given me personal experience with the difficult family situations. This experience provides me with important personal insight, the kind of insight necessary to protect the children of divorcing parents. Just a bit more about my experience. I graduated with honors from Oldham County High School in 1979. I attended and graduated from Western Kentucky University. When I was financially able, I went to law school at the University of Old Brandeis School of Law. And after law school, I worked for two different Kentucky Court of Appeals judges. This training helped me learn how to identify common errors that judges make. I enjoy serving our community. I'm on several local boards, including the Oldham Chamber and the Oldham County Education Foundation. I believe that the families in our community deserve a judge who understands the law, knows its limitations, and personally cares about the individuals who come to the court. People must be able to trust that they will get rulings based on law applied to their personal situation. When I'm elected, I will honor that trust. Please vote Steve Emery for family court judge on November the 8th. And I have a gift I'll pass out to you all too. Uh, just to say, I hope you remember my name on election day. It's both Steve Emery and Emery Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Steve. Good luck to you in your election. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you all will take a look at our minutes from the previous meeting. Thank you so much, Steve. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank You're fine. You. Thank you so much, Steve. Have a good day today. Do y'all have any additions or corrections we need to make to the minutes? I make a motion to accept it. Thank you, Commissioner Floyd. Commissioner Floyd makes a motion to accept the minutes as read. 
We have a second by Commissioner Helm. All those in favor? Uh, unanimous vote. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm going to pass around a copy of the sign. If you would, uh, now we will re review the uh, financial statements and treasurer's report. Are we real close to being able to get rid of that third one there, Todd? Yes, we are. We wrote a check to the uh, Jennifer, help me out. I don't know who it was. To the grant, and then you got on the check. So I was waiting for us to clear, and then. So basically, that's history. Yeah. Okay. questions or comments about the financial statements or treasurer's report? We have a motion by Commissioner Helm to approve the financials report and treasurer's uh, statements. Do I have a second? No, sir. Commissioner Harold Green seconds and all those in favor? We show a unanimous full vote. Pass around, guys. Sign that last copy. All right, moving right along to commissioner reports. Uh, commissioner Hambo and Helm, would you give us an update on the wastewater treatment operations? Everything's going good right now. The wastewater treatment operators on vacation. We take the board. Everything's running good right now. Yeah, to add what he said, uh, Hoskins has taken his first vacation in over a year and a half. And uh, I've been going around checking the lift stations and doing the uh, cleaning the floats and the bar screens and doing some samples, making sure we're, we're good. Uh, and thank God everything has been running well. Uh, I like to keep it easy. All right, uh, Commissioner Harmon on the sanitation department. And Commissioner Floyd at the cemetery. I've been on vacation, I haven't had a chance to be out there much. I think Harold knows more about that than I do right now. All right. Uh, on the cemetery, I'll, I'll <coughs> talk about one thing. There was a, a lady, uh, I don't want to name her, uh, but there was a lady had called about a piece of granite that is around the headstone of her grave. There's, there's three of them, and two of them are below the ground or at ground level. But when we buried her husband, uh, they had to take up one, and it, it wasn't put back. Uh, I explained to her that our gentleman, who is our cemetery caretaker, had been in the hospital, his gallbladder burst. He was uh, in the hospital for several days because uh, he had gangrene in there. There was just a bunch, I mean, the man was very sick. Blood poisoning. He had some blood poisoning. Uh, and I explained to her that the man's been in the hospital and as soon as he is out and back to normal, uh, that he would take care of this. The uh, I think the lady called you, didn't she, Harold? Yes, sir. And uh, Harold went out there and, and did some stuff on there. I, I, I think we had a lack of communication on that. I think there's six buckets 
five gallon buckets of dirt, and then I seeded it, and I strawed it and watered it down. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to take, I take care of it. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I think Carol, there's communication issues there, and I wish you to come to me about it because it hurts other people's feelings too. If we, we talk about it, we keep it open. I think that's well, the best well, uh, course of action. I, I, I mentioned it before, before, uh, before I did that yeah. to you, about this lady calling me. Right, and I said it was taken yeah. care of, yeah. but I can't yeah, well, get David out I of the hospital in his room. Because I figured you said the man that takes care of the uh, cemetery is uh, sick, so yeah. I don't want him to come care of him. Okay. No, the marble is not taken care of. Right. No, it is not. Yeah, the granite has not been put back yet, and, and it will be yeah. uh, in the next little bit. Uh, hopefully this week it will, and uh, we've got the weather, so that plays to our advantage. Uh, and we're not to do all care all for everything out there anyway. It's hard to do that. You can't do that. You know, the, the, the plant belongs to the people. They have to do that. Sure. Yeah, they do. That's, that's like me calling Jimmy to come out and, and put dirt around the foundation of my house. You ain't going to do that, are you? No, really. <laughs> if you need help, I will help you. <laughs> you would help him. Yes, I will. I'd help you anyway. Uh, <clears throat> you know, they have to take care of their own little bit. Yeah. If you remember last year at Memorial Day, we did put dirt on some graves. We did see them. We did straw them. And we got in all kind of trouble. If you remember, there was no grass on their yeah. loved ones. Right. Grave at Memorial Day. So right. You can't. Do it. And and it's a constant thing. It, it, you know, we bury somebody within a year. That's going to sink. Yeah. And, and our guy does fill. Hundred dollars a month. Right. So he does do fill. Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. The man was sick. Yeah. That's that's where we come to. The man was sick. And uh, and I am the same opinion of uh, Commissioner Floyd. We've got to let him do his job. Uh, I don't think that's any of our place to overstep him uh, because he takes pride in his work. And I'm thankful that he does take pride in his work. All right, moving along to streets and sidewalks. Commissioner Green, you got an update for us? Uh, all right, two areas in there on their uh, asphalt roads. We got where the water comes, they cut across, strips across them. Uh, pretty rough, and I don't know when they will get back to uh, re finish them and put them back like they was. But they're pretty rough. You have to watch on uh, Southwest Street and uh, uh, Smith Drive. So people have to watch. I don't know when you have an idea when they go finish the uh, put them. That that is a subject that I wanted to bring up today uh, okay. to make sure. Uh, okay what we wanted to do as far as getting them uh, repaired. Uh, what do you think? What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't know more. You know, it's hard to get any, a little job like that. It's hard to get any company to do it. And I don't know. Uh, just about, uh, unless they've got something in the area, maybe something that's going on in the area where they're working, they might, you know, something finish it up. Mm -hmm. I like to see a dip in that, really. I don't think that's legal. That's not legal. Uh, that's sir? Not legal. I don't. I don't believe that's don't legal. Think it could happen. Right. Because that'd be a, a you know kind of a slow up. Sure. Keep people speed speeding. hump. Speed hump, not a bump. It's called a speed hump. If those two spots would be good for speed humps. Well. Uh, that would slow them down. Well, we have speed bumps that uh, a person may have. Winter time snow dump, green that thing, you don't know exactly where they at, you know, the term. That's why they put signs up there. Yeah, but you know, that <laughs> signs you know all the way through that sign. But they always have that's been a problem because I heard people uh, uh Jimmy uh Jennings had you know had problems with some of on spring. Spring Avenue, yeah. 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 And uh, you know, didn't know exactly where yeah. it was. Well the only the only disadvantage in the short term I was thinking this would be a great place for speed hunts. Mm -hmm. But then I thought about it, if the, if the water line's underneath there, that yeah. would just be harder to dig that up again, yeah. should that need arise. Uh, but uh, I've 
talked to Hoskins about this at great lengths because of snow removal for the winter. And he says as long as it's level, it's not going to be a problem to make it through the winter without repairing it as it is now. And it, it can be put off till spring. Um, and by spring, I know we're going to have other jobs to do in town, uh, paving wise. And I think at that time we could uh, talk to the water company and say, you know, the, these two places cost this much. Yeah. Uh, and we're already going to be picking up the bill for them to bring their equipment over and do some paving for us. Um, I think that might be, that's my opinion of the best way to fix it because I don't want concrete in there. No. And I, I don't think you all want concrete in there. Because it's not, I don't, I don't, it don't, it don't this, stick to it. You know, this one over here, the big patch is really it hasn't shrunk at all. It's just the level we can be. I don't, I don't care which concrete is I think the asphalt doesn't bond to it. So the asphalt just chips away, and it would be a bigger, bigger mess down How about there. till spring, go in there, dig it out a little bit, fill it back in with gravel, make it level? Yeah, it's kind of level now. But there is some rough spots in there. And I, I think when Hoskins goes through with his uh, greater blade plowing snow, it'll level it out. So are you guys okay with waiting till spring? Well, I want that one on, on third round road fixed. I don't care where. No, we believe it. Two springs now. We're like six year old. That hole's still muddy. Every time it rains, you water in the road, people have to ride to it. They look at it. The busy street in the city, and we do nothing. Hey, hey, they're up there. The one that's it's on been the, like that for two years. The one that's hey, on the dollar store. Carol, I got information on this this morning. I'll get around here. Yeah. It's from. Chris Bell, I had him come make a bid on, and uh, I'm gonna pass this around. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a dollar store. And this is about that. two potholes, one there and one across the road is a bad one too, next to uh, goes in there to Wentworth Avenue. Well, I'm not concerned about that. That's on stage. But, but uh, we got to do it because they won't do it. I've done a confirmed to them on it. They won't do it. Uh, I like the idea of doing things for our small business in town. I do. Uh, because they do provide a nice service for our town. However, I think if we go on dollar store property to fix that hole, we are going to open up something that we can't afford. I don't know if we're on dollar store property. If, the, if, the, if that light pole is on the right way, okay. then that hole is on the right way. All right, uh, but we, we don't have a right away. Excuse me. Go ahead. What's this 24 by 5? That's the uh, length of it. 24 foot? Yeah. Look for it. Well, he has, he has to cut out a little more to square it up to it. So it won't, it won't uh, do right if you don't uh, cut it out and square it up or on the, kind of taper down. On the end down there, so that's what. I right. think our attorney should be contacting Dollar Store. Yeah. Yeah. So you will fix it. I was going to, but I've never gotten right. contact well, information. And I still, yeah, I still yeah. don't well, even. Well, see, uh, it's a cat and mouse. There's, thing. there's ain't too much. It's on but here. You're talking about a 24 foot hole on 421? Yeah. Well, that, no, it's a dollar, dollar store. store. Oh. Dollar. That, but uh, that's, that's uh, as way. far as the dollar store, now here's the. Uh, uh, He's wanting an eight inch thickness of her, plus a curb of six inches. Mm -hmm. He said that'll keep them going a little further. No, no, not their trucks. Oh, well, I didn't know they go back there. Well, they're going to eat that concrete up a matter of weeks. They're going to go to the pole holes. I don't mind. think they will. But wait, he did it eight inches thick. Eight inches thick, you know. That's cool. And, uh, and uh, I think if I can say it all, well, then we will. How about this? Because the, the Dollar General uh, management has not been forthcoming with uh, the owner of that property because they rent it from somebody and they've not given me a name. They just tell me that it's, they rent the property. Look on the tax bill. Uh, perhaps we could look on the tax bill, good idea, and just contact that individual. Uh, Amy, you, could you find out? Well, we have the tax bill. Okay. Yeah. The city would have that. Okay. Yeah. Post and we'll let, we'll let her take care of us. 
it takes care of everything. We, we can't uh, have, we got some dangerous places. Sure. They're all up there, and if we don't fix that, that's going to continue to eat our, on our road sure. there. It's, it, it rains and it holds water and they know they come running and they know they drive up over there to it, coming out of there. And it, it's it'll eventually go, Well, they'll eventually go to that pole. It, it it's just going to keep moving further to yeah. the right. <coughs> and putting the curb up there is not going to help. That's going to be a way well, I, I thought it just maybe like four or six for six slab there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, like I say, we can get well, take the curb. Well, we're not going to fix it. Let's, uh, let's get a piece of, let's get an iron post and drive it up there. Put a yellow flag around it. <coughs> flag it off. Hmm. Look. Like a caution, like a caution yeah. sign of some kind? Yeah, put a caution tape around it. We got a six to six wooden post down there. Hey, yeah. And if the dollar store wants to fix it, or let them drive around it. Right. The water splashes in the middle of the road, you can't keep the car clean, you can't do that. Well, it's just uh, traffic is so big. We have that's a business area in, mm -hmm. in the town. Well, let's table this until it comes right out. No, we table yeah. stuff and table stuff, and that's that two years, and we ain't got to fix it. Yeah, okay. I think we ought to do it. I, I mean, I don't know. Well, like the only problem I have I fool around and try to get in bed, and like I say, work. It. I've been down this guy's house two, three times. I spent I don't know how much time with him. Trying to get something done, mm -hmm. a bid, and so we could uh, work with it. That's all fine. Okay. I, let's just wait till she gets the information she needs to contact them. Well, the thing about it is, boys, we're putting ourselves off if we go to do it. Uh, time, all of the stuff, the winter's going to come. I don't know if we need 24 feet there. No, we don't. So it's going to. Because you're going to replace the whole driveway. Uh, well, that'd be, that'd be, yeah, it'll be five foot wide all the way down through there. We need five foot wide about uh, six foot. Uh, six foot. But, and putting the curb in there is not going to help. All that's going to do is raise that truck up until it gets it wore down. I think, we have to, like I say, we are, you know, we can't come at the conclusion here today. I think we just, uh, just drop it. This is I'm in favor of that. This is the busiest street in the <laughs> city. Drop it, we ain't going to do nothing. Busiest okay. street in the city, and it's a, it's a sorry thing. Yeah, it is. It's because it's, it's going to eventually hurt ours. Well, my my, it's my biggest out. concern is if we do this for the dollar store, my biggest concern is we've got other people in town who want us to do stuff for them, and we have told them, hey, that's not that's not the city. The city doesn't have any right of way outside the street, and we have stuck by that. Now, my thinking is, if we go ahead and do this, and people know the city did it, they're going to say, "Now, were you lying to me then, or are you lying to me now?" First of all, when you take and I that, think it takes away our credibility. When you take that twenty-four by five up, when you dig it up, you got permission to shut the store down for that time period? No. They do not shut that store down for nothing. Well, it won't be that. It won't be out that far. But it'll be our entrance there. Twenty-four, 24 foot. feet wide. Oh, you that's, know, that's twenty-four that, this feet. Is, by five feet. It'll be twenty-four long. That, well, that covers. No, the this is this is not this is not the dollar store. You're looking at the wrong one. This is across the road. I don't want to touch that. That's across the road. Uh -huh. That's what we're, what we're seeing here now. No. Oh, this is seven seven, but the dollar store. Okay. Yeah, because see, you're even down there across from the dollar store. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. it, it don't say in here about him raising that curb up either. It don't say nothing about that. Well, they got the curb up here on the uh, dollar yeah. where the dollar store comes out there. <coughs> the hump or when you make the curb. Well, this this gentleman has done a lot of good work for us. Well, he does good work. Yes, and, he's, and I, so and, I'm, uh, not, I'm not knocking uh, him he whatsoever. Makes, you know, he, he spends a lot of time with us. Sure. He's very, well, he's, very, he's uh, always very, done a uh, humble guy to work with. He's done good jobs for us. And, yeah. And I and he, I appreciate he, that. He can guarantee he'll guarantee you work, and but he's gonna put up there and look. And he's gonna uh, he's gonna put a lot of steel in this uh, concrete here too. It goes in these places. A lot of steel. Not much is going to be on the dollar store. Yeah. We need to go to the highway department and get them fixed one on the other side. Yes. <coughs> they won't go. Yes, yes, absolutely. They will. absolutely. You the sure, sure they will. Well, when you went out here, that ain't who you go to. Well, I like to say Yeah, I, I agree. I went to two people. That's not, there, it's none of our bills. And I, and I don't think they would allow us to work on their. Well, if. Uh, 
we've uh, probably worked some time for, I don't know, for that on some places, but more they wouldn't do it. But let, let's let you get her the information and contact them and see what they say before we do this. Right. Today, yeah, yeah, we can look after the meeting and have that. Uh, are you okay with that? Well, I don't know. If he, uh, we'll, if we'll, he, we'll go quick on if this. We don't find out something by the time, by the time Hoskins gets back. We'll have Hoskins drive a full pole arm, arm post there and put a set to take around it and yeah. drive around it. But let's call Dave first because we don't want to go through a lot of that. Right, we'll that's right. Yeah, yeah. right on. So, so we go. To, we ain't gonna do anything. Right. Okay. All right. So we'll move right along. Uh, website update, gentlemen. We do have a website. Um, Miss Deborah Crawford has put us something together. It is, uh, for the time being, it is primitive, but our meetings are on that uh, on that website where local residents can go on there and see what we say and and what we discuss. Uh, we do have some information on there and. As time goes, we'll be adding more to it, and we're really excited to have this. Uh, I don't know the analytics. It is up and running. Have you seen any of the analytics uh, on it? How many visitors we have? Actually, I didn't check it before I came. Okay, but I'm, and I'm sure there's a lot of people checking it out, interested in it. And uh, what's the website? It's um, cityofbedford.ky.com. City of Bedford, KY.com. I think it's a, a great service to the community. And like I said, right now it's it's primitive, but it's it's coming together. All right. Uh, the date set for the wet dry vote is December 20th, 2016 at Bedford Elementary School. The petition had 45 names on it and seven were, were not in city limits, uh, but we only needed 22. Whether you're for or against it, this is a, this is a great way to show democracy in action. This is the people who live in this town, uh, I think, deserve a vote, uh, whether they're for or against it. And a lot of people are asking me uh, different questions about what if this, what if that. My personal opinion is I didn't want to get the cart before the horse. I know there are some very strict laws about the control of alcohol, and uh, I don't want to get caught up in that until it passes or fails, until the people vote. Let's, we'll see what they say, and if it passes, we will cross that bridge. And. Uh, We'll go from there. All right, uh, next item on the agenda, guys, is discounting sewer bills for residents watering their lawns. Uh, there, there were some people who approached uh, Jennifer and myself uh, because they said they'd been watering their lawns this summer and they wanted uh, to, for us to knock that off their sewer bill. They said we, the argument was, we knock off money for people who fill their swimming pool. Why shouldn't we adjust people's sewer bills if they're watering their lawn? Well, my first reaction is no, we're not doing that. Uh, but then I recognized that this is a group decision and I wanted us to make a group decision on it because I'd rather, uh, I'd rather we all make that decision. What do you all think? There's no way to tell how much you know, and no way to measure it. On a pool, you know, you can you say what size. It'll say what size is on the pool. Yeah, you say what size is on the pool, and we know, and that's a one shot deal. Right. The water mom gives you that every other month. Right. So there's no, there's no way to measure it. Arrow? No. All right, uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinner, guys, will be November, Tuesday, November 22nd, between 5.30 and 7.30 here at the community center. Uh, Jennifer and I met with some uh, church leaders yesterday, and it's coming together. Uh, I don't remember, Jennifer, what, uh, I know we agreed to buy all the paper products, you know, like we have done in the past, and, uh, 
two turkeys, was it? Yes. And I'm going to cook some stuff. She's going to cook some stuff. Uh, but we want to put it out there that anybody who wants to cook a turkey or uh, ham or... Uh, Just please call us. So we can make notes of who's bringing what, so much we have enough. Yeah, we want people to get a hold of us. Last year we had... Uh, just a little over 200 and we expect that to grow this year mm -hmm. to have uh, more people come eat with us uh okay painting no parking on the side of u.s highway 421 in front of commissioner green's house and his uh, neighbors we have that there and uh public work public work hoskins asked me about painting that on there or repainting it on there and I told him that is the state right away. That is no, no, that is none of our business, and it shouldn't be there. Uh, but what do you all think? Um, what do you mean? You don't think any of them will be there? Right. I, that's a state right away issue again. Well, and I, I just uh, don't think we I should. Think that, of course, you get in block, and block. If you don't have it, you block off. Right. You do. I get not 142, and I've asked people have asked me don't put them up, to put them there. We got one down here on Church Street. Got one on TVA. Got uh, one in Christian Church. They had, you know, and I, two where I live across the road from them. But I think they do uh, serve a purpose. Is there a lot of traffic coming out? Well, like, hey, you block, you block the road. You can't see. You get out of the road. Yeah, I drive through there on both streets just yeah, to okay. just to check them out. Yeah. 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 There was an accident not a month ago right in front of the subway because somebody pulled out there. Yeah, well. And there was no know, cars there. I know but see, that ought to be a one way street, but uh, people's asking, you know, certain ones about putting them there. So uh, I think it serves a purpose. I'm not sure it's legal. I don't think it is. It's not legal. Uh, only be, only right. because it's the state right away. That's none of that's none of our business. Might, uh, I don't know about no parking sign, but I don't think the bank. Uh, no, we don't have that down. There's no. nothing down there in front of the bank, is it? No. Uh, or the courthouse. No. Or the country store. No. Uh, I mean, I guess but, we could put no parking along the street on both sides. But, uh, I, I, I think it served a good purpose. Well, if people request it, you might have it all the way down. Yeah. Right, that's that's exactly what I'm thinking. The more people yeah, would realize, very, and they would also say, well, this is in front of a commissioner's house. Well, uh, that's a bad area to get out. Well, do you think maybe if we made yeah, it a one-way, if we made it a one-way street where people could only drive uh, west back, on it? To the back street. Instead of driving east and west, just say you can only drive west. Well, I don't know. It's inconvenient uh, to do that. Like where I live, the mm -hmm. one way it's called. People, that's a busy street. I'm going to tell you, it's a busy street right there. Well, what do y'all think? You want to want to paint them on there? <coughs> Put a sign up? No parking? I think the sign, honestly, would be better. If, if we're going to do it. Yeah. Still, if you're going to do a sign, <coughs> you're going to have to talk to the transportation. I think so. Yeah. Talk to Jeff. Okay. You got to talk to them first. Yeah, that's and that's how we'll proceed. We will we will speak to uh, the transportation department. Yeah, we will speak to the transportation department, see their opinions on it, and uh, because I'm sure they they probably have some numbers about the traffic well, patterns. Uh, the black top off the 42 <coughs> to the streets, they told us we could do what we wanted to in town there with it. You got that in writing? No, I heard that. I mean, before this, they told us. Yeah. Uh, they was told out there before. Unless you got it in writing, I would not go by the person. Well, that's what they told me now. They said, you okay. all can do what you want to with that. Yeah. That's, of course, that's true, but you, we allow you in the city of Bedford to Use that uh, your own convenience, whatever you want to do with it. All right. now, that's what I've been told. That's the reason for the no parking. Right. Been, uh, well, we'll reach out to. Uh, I got a little bit of connection there. Let me see if I can do There you go. 
we will let we'll let Commissioner Floyd handle this, okay. and, uh, All right. and we'll I'll, go from there. I'll get the information right back to you. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. There you go. That's enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Sure. All right, the next item on the agenda, guys. So we got a letter because we had uh, unpaid federal withholding taxes for first quarter of 2015, the third quarter of 2015, the fourth quarter of 2015, and the second quarter of 2016. Uh, that those are timely reports that have to be filed every quarter, and uh, they weren't done. And Jennifer, could you speak a little bit about that? What's going on with that? Um, I got a visit from the IRS, came in, said these reports were not done um, and that they needed to be completed by a certain date. Um, received another letter. I've been working on them, trying to get them caught up. Um, received a letter yesterday saying that we could possibly have penalties and things because these reports were not done. Okay, and how are we coming along? Oh, they'll be done by the end of the week. Great. I've been keeping in contact with him. Right. And he knows what's going on in those situations. So after we get him turned in, he'll let us know. What caused the reports not to be done? Um, someone does not do them. Turn them in. Would the CPA person? No. Would do to take care of this? Tell you when no. should do this or not? No. no. no they're no. due every month. They're due yeah. every quarter. They've been due every every quarter for years. It's federal taxes. I don't know. They should let us know that. We it's should. Not, it's not up to the agents to state taxes. All right. All right. Uh, so it's it's being worked on. We don't know what we're talking about. Uh, not yet. Thousands of dollars. I do know that. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. All right, Light Up for Bedford is scheduled for Saturday, December 3rd, 2016, <coughs> uh, beginning at 6 o'clock at the courthouse. <coughs> yeah, they changed it to Saturday because of uh, school things that go on. And they, the Rotary Club, who handles a lot of this, uh, feels that if they move to Saturday, they'll draw more of a crowd. And we hope we, hope we have more out, uh, 6 to 8. December 3rd? Yes, December 3rd. Well, I'm not sure about the ending time, but I'm sure about six, six o'clock. Yeah, there'll be carolers and uh, <coughs> people making merry. And uh, now, guys, yes, Santa Claus will be here. He gets to, <coughs> he'll be here. Now I'd like to introduce Charles Reed uh, with uh, Feed, the, Feed the Children program. Charles, you have the floor. Yeah, my name is John Brady. I'm with the Governor President of the Children, the Children of the Committee of Trimble County. And we are under, now we are, as of two weeks ago, we are under the uh, Trimble County School and Resource Center, and where we didn't have to come up with a lot of legalities, and where the money that we had collected can go for, for food instead of having to pay for insurance. And, Almost a thousand dollars have had to be paid out to a lot of And we have tubs in different places in the uh, Tumble County Library for snacks, the Bedford City Hall, the Milton City Hall, and the Trimble County Sheriff's Office. And our goal is to try to provide the hot meal. We're looking forward to uh, the second week of the winter break. And I'm pretty sure it will be done here in the community center. But I get with the rest of the committee and see if that's what they want. And I'm just here to give you all an update, and that's where we stand right now. We okay. bypass, but we're under the, um, like I said, under the school system. They're what they provide food for the kids, so that knocked down a great expense where we can just devote the money to. Uh, to food, and we've had food uh, and snacks uh, already uh, donated about a, a day or two after we come brought got this together. Somebody come in and donated a, a bunch of food. That's good. It's great. I just want to thank the community. All right. Well, and as you guys remember, uh, I think it's been about a year yeah. that, that we we agreed to let Charles use the place yeah. Yeah. to feed kids, and he ran into a, a lot of unexpected. Uh, uh, distractions, uh, obstacles, and he has continued to push. And uh, 
Charles, I applaud your efforts for, for not giving up on this and uh, for keeping it going because there are a lot of children that uh, may not get a hot meal of an evening. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're poor because their parents, both parents work. And you know, sometimes the children are just out. Out by themselves. Yeah, on their own. So thanks for keeping it going. Are we going to have anything legally signed that we won't be responsible for anything? I think so. Would you think that would be a, uh, something to do? Yeah. Like a waiver? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can, we'll take care of that. Sorry. Right. That's true. It gets hurt. That's true. All right. Uh, moving along, the property tax rates for 2017. Currently, they are uh, 15 cents per $100 of assessed value. This time we can change them, we can, or we can increase them. I'll say we'll need a motion. All right. We'll need a motion on that, guys. I'll make a motion. Commissioner sure. Harmon makes a motion to leave the tax rates at point one five per $100 of uh, tax assessed value. Commissioner Green seconds that motion. And all those in favor? It's a unanimous vote. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. For Thank you. Uh, the next item, guys, is uh, bidding for the sanitation collection services. It's that time of year where we put out for bid about our trash pickup, uh, and we will get that ad in the paper, contact the people. I don't know if you guys want to do an ad or just contact the two companies. Can we do that? Depends on how much the amount is. Okay. It's over 20, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Per year it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. It's a little advertising. Yeah. I don't think it's over Actually, you're, you know what? What is it, like uh, 1600 a month? Mm -hmm. So that's not. But it might be one out there. I don't care. It might be a third of a month. It might be more. Yeah. All right. And we'll advertise yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. I won't give it to, but. <laughs> right. The next item, guys, and I forgot to put it on the agenda, is the second reading of our code enforcement, our ordinance to create a code enforcement board. And I will turn the floor over to Ms. Eversall to take this on. Okay, I'm just going to read the summary that I prepared. It's an ordinance related to code enforcement. Uh, ordinance creates a code enforcement board pursuant to KRS 658801 to 658809 defines relevant terms, sets forth enforcement powers, establishes procedures and requirements for appointment of members, term of office, removal from office, oath and compensation of members, establishes requirements for organization of the board, meetings and quorum for meetings, requires members of the board who have a conflict of interest to disqualify himself from voting on the matter in which he has an interest, establishes powers of the board, establishes procedures for enforcement proceedings, issuance of notices of violation, citations, contesting the citation, Hearings, notice, final orders and appeals, establishes procedures for liens, fines, charges and fees, a lien holder notification system and abatement, and provides for enforcement by the code enforcement officer. And this ordinance will become effective upon the final reading and then the publication. All right, so we take a voice vote, right? We need a motion. Okay. Do I have a motion to accept this? And we have a motion by Commissioner Floyd. And we have a commission, uh, Commissioner Harmon seconds the motion. And now uh, Commissioner Green, Floyd. Commissioner Harmon, or Floyd, Commissioner Harmon, Floyd. and four. It's a unanimous vote. Thank you, gentlemen. And uh, in our In our uh, meeting, we have uh, one of our code enforcement, one of the people I want to appoint, uh, Angela Robinson is here to the code enforcement board and uh, Jordan Dennison to be our code enforcement officer is at our meeting. Uh, folks, this is the beginning of something great and your services to the community are uh, invaluable. And I know it's gonna start out as a volunteer and, and I appreciate that but uh, I think your work is going to help this town immensely. So I can't thank you enough for wanting to do it. 
All right. Uh, the next uh, item, guys, that I didn't again have on the agenda is uh, <coughs> delinquent delinquent property tax bills uh, that we have. Jennifer, did everybody get a copy of this? Or? No, they didn't. Uh, these are the amounts. We had to write a check to the uh, grant for that, and uh, Jennifer has written the check, and now we're just waiting for that to uh, clear so that we can give the county the rest of that money. So we're going to file a and talk to all these things? Yeah. You need a motion for that? Or? Yeah. I'll make a motion. Okay. okay. And I have a second. Commissioner Har uh, Helm makes a motion to uh, file the liens on the delinquent property tax bills. Commissioner Floyd seconds the motion. And all those in favor? Uh, it's a unanimous vote. Uh, we do need to go into executive session, but before we do, I'd like to, anybody in the public who would like to have something to say, uh, Please, this is Dina from the library, guys. She is our librarian, and uh, thank you for coming today. Thanks so the floor me. is yours. I apologize for being a little bit late. I wanted to be here to hear everything. I just wanted to stop by and introduce myself. Mm -hmm. So, Dina Riley, I'm the new director of Rachel Kind of Public Library. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for coming today. Um, I appreciate your support. I know that we had a little bit of a delay in getting here, but I'm hoping to be able to come uh, at least every so often to hear we, the library has an interest in our community, not only in Bedford, but also in Milton. And we want to partner with organizations to, to help our community in lots of different ways. We are uh, helping with the Be the Children uh, program, and we are honored to do that. We've already had a great response with uh, kids coming in and um, taking advantage of snacks. We are going to try in November to do a um, food for fines, where people can pay off their fines by donating food so that kids help um, get a, a bigger supply built up for that. There is a need in our community for that, and that's people are important. We want to get that message out. We're also helping Todd out a little bit. Well, actually, he's, he's letting us help with uh, the uh, passing on the bread that's donated weekly. There's, we heard that there was a little bit of um, overage and it was just getting thrown away or tossed to animals, and we thought, well, maybe if we had more access points that maybe we would be able to, to reach more people. And that, we did. We, a lot of people uh, the last time we, we put bread out for free. So Todd's doing a great job with that and helping our community with poverty uh, issues and I'd like to help contribute to that. And also would like to welcome you guys. If you have any ideas for the library, any programs or changes to the building um, or issues that you want to discuss, please feel free to come by and talk anytime. So we'd love to hear your ideas and suggestions. Great. And, and I would like to also uh, uh, thank Dina. We had a uh, carry and conceal uh, class up here this weekend, and uh, the gentleman teaching the class needed a DVD player and a television. So Dina provided all that from the library so that this uh, guy could have the class. And uh, from what I understand, it was a, a big class, and uh, you know people are interested in uh, carry and conceal. So. We're very grateful that she's able to uh, bring us the the audiovisual equipment that we didn't have. So thank you very much. How about anybody else in the community? I see two candidates uh, back here. Uh, the elections right around the corner, guys. What what do you think? When the election's over? <laughs> well, that's great, uh, and I appreciate y'all running. 
I think it's, uh, it's something that uh, I felt very passionate about uh, as a young man, and uh, <coughs> I'm still passionate about it. So I, I appreciate more people uh, wanting to get involved. We have we have ten people running for four seats, and uh, it's it's exciting because we're our voters. Uh, we might have a hundred voters. We hope. I'd like to get more people to vote, but uh, can't force them, and that's that's their that's their right to vote or not to vote. My son wants to make the T-shirts. I said, "Who in the world wore a new T-shirt?" Would be big enough to know by the chief. Hey, well, it's a complex uh, election this time. Yeah, well, got, you've got so much on their vote for. It's true. And sometimes you don't know where you vote, where you should vote for. <laughs> it is. Uh, I, I think it's. It's. Uh, I think it's important that people uh, yeah. look, at, look at the issues and uh, you know vote their conscience. However, right, yeah. however, however that a, comes down. Well, you do, but you know sometimes that doesn't work out. That's, right. That's mm -hmm. what you have to do about it. But the the main thing is you know for uh, and I say this a lot. The best thing to do is start locally. Let's you know get involved in our town. Let's uh, let's make things happen in our community. So for someone to step up and run for office, I think that's a great service to the community. All right. Yes, Mr. Corley. William Corley. I'd like to ask if we could have a, maybe a special meeting in November about the, the wet drive up giving the, the community, not just the city, but everybody in the county, so they can come in and get exactly. polls and comments yeah, and idea. yays and nays for it. Sort of like a town hall meeting? Town yeah. yeah, hall meeting, just about that, and have it in the evening time where yeah. everyone works and have an opportunity to actually show up and voice their opinion. Yeah, I'm all for that. I think that'd be great, a great idea. We will uh, look at the calendar and set a date for that to let, let people come and be heard. And uh, well, that's, again, that's local local uh, well, people are doing that, things. Again, we've been talking about it for a year and nobody can come down. We're up, we've got the petition, we've got the same the sign of valid. Yeah. Just nothing changes. Right. Other than your vote. That's it. Let's have the meeting and see what people got to yeah. say and vote on. Okay. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. There's no opportunity for them to be heard. Nothing's going to change by being on that. All right. Uh, at this time, guys, uh, I will entertain a motion to, I will hand the floor over to Jim Helm. I move that we go into executive session to discuss the proposed or pending litigation on behalf of the city pursuant to the KRS, the cause of attorney client privilege for discussions which might lead to the appointment, discipline, or dismissal of an individual employee pursuant to KRS again, to protect employees or potential employees' interest in their reputations when their personal or professional merits are under consideration for, for hiring, firing, or discipline. Do I have a second? I'll second. Commissioner Helm makes the motion. Commissioner Harmon seconds. And all those in favor? Uh, all right, folks. I uh, hate to kick you all out, but uh, we're going to go into executive session. <laughs> All right, do I have a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second to come out of executive session. All those in favor? Aye. There was uh, no action taken during executive session. And uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn this meeting. And a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs>